Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be testing out this Magic Minerals from, um, I don't know where it's from, I guess by Jerome Alexander, and it is as seen on TV. So, my husband got this for my birthday, which, my birthday is Monday, but if you want to see this video, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm really excited to test this out. I have saw it before, but I've never picked it up for myself because I just, I never did. And I can't wait to try this out. I don't know if you have to have makeup, like, you don't, I don't know if you have to have foundation already, but we're going to read into it. We're going to figure it out. And let me know if you all have tested this out or wanted to test this out. But let's see if it actually works. <laughs> okay, so. It helps cover and conceal pimples, blemishes, scars, and birthmarks. Okay, this says how to use. Apply all over your entire face with included st stubby brush. After applying buff to set the makeup for a flawless look. So, it says this... Conceals, corrects all at once for a flawless look. This ultra fine mineral powder is to smooth and light it natural natural blemishes the appearance of ash sparks sparks ash spots and dark circles and uneven skin tone without caking or caught getting caught in the wrinkles. Okay, it says the pink post to brighten the pale, dull skin, giving a glow over the entire face. Lavender helps to camouflage yellow and swallow the skin's complexion. The mint is for the ruddy complexion, discolor, blemishes, or marks. And the yellow is covers discolor discoloration under the eyes. So... I don't think I'm going to put no foundation and no makeup on right now. I think I'm just going to use it as it is. It doesn't really say. It says powder foundation corrects and conceals. So I guess this is all in one thing like it said. I didn't know if it meant like, you know, like actually all in one. Like makeup and the whole... Let's get this thing open. It's really easy to open. Usually you have a really hard time opening these things up. If you feel me. I don't want to mess this part up, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Oh, no, not really. Okay, it has... Woo! You can use a sponge. I mean, the, the stubby brush. And it also has a sponge that you can use. So, how about I use the sponge on one side and the brush on the other. See which one really helps the skin to even out better. Oh my god, I might get this out of here, boys. And this is what it looks like, okay? This is the front of it. And then this is when you open it up. Try not to blind you with a a lot, but ain't that like confetti? Like it looks like confetti all over it. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited to try this out. Okay, I'm also setting up a new way of make uh, like doing my videos. I'm trying to do it like a different scenery and see if this will work better. Cause like I'm getting a reflector for my table, and I'm not sure it would fit on my dresser. So I'm trying it on this table I have see how it works also I love this shirt if you ever went to tractor supply this is where I got this shirt at I love it it's so soft <sighs> okay let's get into this video okay I'm gonna do the sponge on one side and the brush on the other I'm so excited about this like I've never tried this my husband bought it and then he's like I'll let you open your gifts up early and I was like okay so I don't know how much you put on it though, that's the problem. Like I don't know if I should like go in dark, like heavy, or I should just not. Okay, you can see like I don't have like a lot of blemishes or anything like that on my face, but like I have really bad, uh, like you know right under my eyes is really light and my rest of the face is kind of dark. I do have freckles, 
So we'll see how this works out. I hope y'all can see me good because I'm trying this new way. I'm like, ugh. Okay. Ooh, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. So I just went two times. It's definitely foundation. You can tell. Okay. I'm just going to rub it on my face. Probably have to do it a different couple times to get it actually the look. I mean, right now it looks like there's really nothing on my face. So I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong. Like, I don't. Not sure. If this is just something that looks like foundation, but then it turns into like something that just smooths out the skin to. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm putting some different times on there, but I'm not really. I mean, it does seem like it evened my skin on this side out, but like, if it's used for like foundation or something, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Okay, we'll go to the other side with the spun and with the brush, the stubby brush, it said. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I'm not sure. Like, they don't really say like, apply this over your like foundation or under your foundation not over it but like under it it don't it don't say so I'm just gonna do it like this and see if this part works at least like if you can just put this on and just go out the door looking like this mm, not totally sure <laughs> like I'm I don't I don't know like it looks like it looks like foundation on the sponge, like, it literally does. But, like, when you put it on your skin, I mean, I can see that it evens it out, but it don't really like foundation. Like, I'm not sure. I said, it says it's, like, number one seller and all that. Like, I'm not sure. I don't know what that means. Because, I'm not really seeing nothing. I can see like there's like a difference in my skin. I can definitely tell that. Okay. I'm not really seeing no difference. I mean I can tell that there's something definitely on my face, you know what I'm saying? Like I can still see my freckles and all that stuff, but I don't I'm not sure if it passed the high freckles. It said like dark circles I can tell I can tell a difference so in my skin okay I think I like the sponge better to be honest I can tell like there's definitely something on my face Like, I feel like my my face has got a little bit, like, together. Like, it looks... I don't know how to explain it. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go in with my finger. Yeah, it definitely evened that out, though. Yeah, I can definitely kind of tell like under my eyes because like under my eyes are like a lot lighter than my skin and it kind of evened it out hmm I kind of like this like it gives it kind of like a natural look like it's not like a foundation it's kind of like like I said it's like it evens out your skin tones and it hides all like dark spots Cause I feel like under my eye, let's see. Let's take it a little bit more under the eye. Like I'm really dark right here in my corner. Let's see if we can lighten it up or cover it up a little bit with that. Let's see how it does. Yeah. 
Like you can still see it's there, but it's not as bad. I think this might help, like if you put foundation over top of it. I like the sponge version under the brush. It says a buff it after putting it on, but I think I like using the sponge. In the brush. It says compact with a and professional stubby brush. It literally says stubby. If you can see that. <laughs> I think it's funny and cute. So yeah, it's not it lasts up to twelve hours. It blends to your skin color. So yeah, I think it would look a lot better. I just wanted to try it without like no foundation because I wasn't really sure if this was like a built in foundation of all like all in. Um but it's kinda like a foundation that just even is your skin tone out, so when you do actually put foundation on, I would like to see what it is like with foundation and like a whole face on. So I do actually have some new makeup products that I would love to try out in my next video. So I think this would be great to also try out, like put it on first, but even even before I like I put, yeah, I can definitely, yeah, I can tell the difference. I definitely can. I kind of like it. Anyways, I can um, I can put this on before I put like my foundation on. I think it would look really good. So, oh, I'm so excited! Like I, w I wouldn't put this on top of foundation, but definitely under foundation. And what better yet to try it out with some new products, and then maybe like in an Instagram video, maybe I'll. Do like my actual foundation that I like to wear all the time and put this underneath it and see how it wears just, just that foundation to see how it is but I actually kind of like this like I can tell that it evened out my skin tones like it even it all out like I definitely can tell and yeah it I feel like my I don't know I just feel like it's brightened up my under eyes and my cheeks a little bit I like it. I'm not sure how much he paid for this because he didn't tell me. So in my next video, I will try out and see if this works good uh, underneath your foundations. See how that is. I'm excited. Because I have like, I think I almost have almost a full new face of makeup that I would like to try out. I got from Ulta and um uh dollar general so i hope to see you all in my next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos if you like my content and if you want to see a certain video let me know uh someone did ask me on instagram if i would do my uh, makeup look that i did on I think it was one of my other Instagram posts they would like to see the makeup look that I had in a video so I'm going to do that so I have a lot of videos lined up be patient if you have asked me for a video and I have not yet posted it be patient because I'm working at a restaurant at the same time so I'm trying to work everything around it so I'm excited I have I have some, some like new ideals. I'm sorry I'm rambling on. I know like I said like I'm going to end this video like 10 minutes ago. But, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.